we are asked to match each exponential function with the correct graph. Let's first focus on g of x equals three raised to the power of x. Notice how the base b is three. Whenever we have an exponential function and the base is greater than one, we have an increasing function or exponential growth. Also notice how all the function values for g of x are going to be positive or greater than zero. So looking at the four graphs, notice how this is the only graph that is increasing or shows exponential growth and all the function values are greater than zero. And therefore, this is the correct graph for g of x. And now let's take a look at c, where we have h of x equals the opposite of three raised to the power of x. Notice how because of this negative sign here, all the function values or y values for h of x are going to be less than zero or negative. And because h of x is equal to the opposite of three raised to the power of x, for the same x values, g of x and h of x are going to have the opposite function values or the opposite y values. So if we were to take a look at some points on the graph of g of x and change the sign of the y coordinates, it would have the effect of reflecting the points as well as the graph across the horizontal or x-axis. So if we were to reflect this graph across the x-axis, notice how it would give us this graph here, which is the graph of h of x equals the opposite of three raised to the power of x. So this is h of x. Let's verify this with some graphing software. In red we have the graph of y equals three raised to the power of x, and now I'll graph y equals a times three raised to the power of x when a is one, which gives us the same graph now in green. But if we change the value of a to negative one, this will give us the graph of y equals the opposite of three raised to the power of x. And notice how if we change a to negative one, it does reflect y equals three raised to the power of x across the x-axis, giving us the graph of y equals the opposite of three raised to the power of x. So this does verify we selected these two graphs correctly. And now let's focus on k of x equals one third raised to the power of x. Notice how for this exponential function, the base is one third. Whenever the base b is between zero and one, we have a decreasing function or an exponential decay. But again, notice how all the function values or y values for k of x will be greater than zero. So looking at the remaining two graphs, Notice how this is the only graph that shows a decreasing function or exponential decay with all the function values greater than zero. This is the graph of k of x. Which leaves f of x, where f of x is equal to the opposite of one third raised to the power of x. So again, f of x and k of x will have opposite function values or y values for the same x values or inputs, which means they are reflections across the horizontal or x axis. So again, if we were to pick points on k of x and then change the sign of the y coordinates, the points as well as the graph would be reflected across the horizontal or x-axis, which gives us this graph here. This is the graph of f of x equals the opposite of one-third raised to the power of x. And again, let's also verify this. So here we have the graph of y equals one-third raised to the power of x, and now I'll graph the same function in the form y equals a times one-third raised to the power of x when a is one. And notice how we get the same graph. And now we'll change a to negative one, which will graph y equals the opposite of one-third raised to the power of x. And again, notice how when a is negative one, the graph of y equals one-third raised to the power of x is reflected across the x-axis, giving us the graph of y equals the opposite of one-third raised to the power of x. So all of our functions are matched with the correct graph. I hope you found this helpful.